Here, below the rainforest of the Amboro National Park in Bolivia, two communities are trying to resolve their differences over a shared water source. Business and conservation work hand in hand as farmers downstream pay compensation to villagers upstream for cutting agricultural production and taking up bee farming. But this isn't just a story about bees and water. It's about building confidence between communities traditionally distrustful of each other so that no one ends up out of pocket and the cloud forest stays intact. In this fertile valley of the Los Negros River, farmers can make a good living growing vegetables. An irrigation system has drawn water from the higher reaches of the river for 70 years to ensure a year-round supply. But now there's not enough. It's thanks to the water in the system that we cultivate and get produce to the market. But in the last 20 to 25 years, there's been a substantial drop in the quality of water, so that now we're producing a lot less than we were before. Upstream, closer to the area of cloud forest so vital to water conservation, farmers clear land for vegetable production and feeding livestock. Over the past 20 years, growing numbers of farmers have moved to Santa Rosa. The number of farms has increased. This is the community of Los Negros, and this is the community of Santa Rosa, and this is the watershed that we want to protect. The green area is the forest that is critical for water provision, and the red area are the, uh, the areas uh, behind cultivation right now. And we want to stop the farm and go up to the forest that is critical for water provision. Farmers in Santa Rosa expressed an interest in beekeeping as a new source of income. So two years ago, upstreamers and downstreamers started talking to decide on a compensation scheme acceptable to all. We negotiated and arrived at 10 hectares preserved for one bee box. 10 hectares is equivalent to about seven football pitches. So far, Roberto Salguero has received 33 boxes. In return, he's agreed to preserve forest equivalent to almost 460 pitches. This is the area I use for growing potatoes and fruit trees, and above is the area of forest I'm preserving, which is around 320 hectares. The farmers were trained in beekeeping and honey harvesting. Now, Serafin Carrasco is passing his knowledge on to others. They eat the honey and use it as a substitute for sugar. Any surplus is sold downriver and in the bigger towns and cities where rainforest honey is much prized. This Santa Rosa farmer wants to join the scheme. So a technician from Natura, the Bolivian Nature Foundation, maps out his land to see how much compensation in bee boxes he'll get. This is no arbitrary process. A GPS system is now used for mapping. The first thing we do is see the quality of the forest, see what state it's in, so we can decide on what basis he gets compensation. If any of the forest on his land is partly cleared, the farmer will only get a percentage of the compensation. He might need to preserve perhaps 20 hectares of degraded forest to get one bee box. In future, Compensation won't just be in the form of bee boxes. Some people want barbed wire to put around their areas of forest, and others want plants like fruit trees to avoid having to clear land. Down river in Los Negros, Delfan Rivero is overseeing his spinach harvest. He's a keen supporter of the scheme, but knows the process of building trust is still work in progress. For us, it's very important that we have an environmental committee that monitors whether they really are looking after the watershed or not. To convince farmers such a scheme could work, Natura got funding from overseas for its first year. This year, the local government is also helping out. The most important result of this project until now is, first of all, the farmers are able to talk to each other. Secondly, the local government put money to carry on this project. And the third point is we have more than a thousand hectares well protected. And finally, we are raising awareness in all the watershed to protect the water and to protect the forest. 
As Los Negros produce is produced for the markets in the city of Santa Cruz, downstream farmers know one day they may have to dig into their own pockets to keep the scheme going. If they do conserve the top of the watershed, we will do all we can to somehow come to an agreement with them and give them compensation. The scheme needs to be tried and tested for a few years. Then, if farmers upstream are satisfied with their new source of income and become effective custodians of the forest and the water supply, farmers in Los Negros should be happy to invest some of their profits in keeping it this way.